Perish the black, burn the blue, and bury the beige. From now on, girls. Think pink. Think pink when you shop for summer clothes. Think pink. Think pink if you want that kelp to show. Fashion advice in funny face. From Joan Crawford's padded shoulders to Annie Hall's thrift shop style, fashion in movies often reflect or inspire fashion in real life. Now, this weekend, there is a film celebrating movie fashions. Here to tell us about it and why she put this whole kind of look at movie fashions together, Sandra Michon. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Jan. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Yes. Now, first, explain what you're wearing, honey. Oh, this is a vintage 19... Uh, late 50s, early 60s uh, shift dress, very popular. And, and uh, Isabel right away knew that it was Breakfast at Tiffany's inspired. Yes, definitely. Uh, <laughs> what was one of the first movies you saw that made you fall in love with film fashion? Um, I really loved uh, Marilyn Monroe and How to Marry a Millionaire oh, and yes. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Yeah. I and loved all the gowns that she wore in those films. And in How to Marry a Millionaire, they actually have a fashion show. That's right. You get to see uh, Betty Grable and, uh, uh, because they play three girls, and uh, Lauren Bacall, they play three girls who are actually models, so you see them in these wonderful fashions. Exactly. And weird hats. Oh, fabulous. All right, well, let's look at some of the things you brought with you, and then we'll tell people how they can get over to Alameda to see see what you're presenting over there. First, uh, let's look at some of the movies you brought with you. We'll start, I think we're going to start with the Cabaret, is that right? No, it's Meet Me in St. Louis. Pardon me, Miss Judy. Tell me about Meet Me in St. Louis clothes-wise. Well, these are Victorian fashions, and we have a great deal of Victorian fashions, fashions that are fashion and fantasy by the bay today, one day only, a vintage fashion fair. And we have dealers who sell a lot of these types of costumes to films. So you can see them up close and personal and all the detail, yeah. in the lace and the beautiful uh, construction of the gowns. Right. These in this film, director Vincent Minnelli actually made them wear vintage, you know, period uh, slips. Period, and, uh, yes. Anything, all their underclothing was period as well. I mean, it was really authentic. And you can still get these beautiful gems. Things have been made so well that you can collect these beautiful undergarments and fashions from that period. Well, they weren't wearing hoop, though. She wasn't wearing a hoop there. That was, what kind of They had petticoats. Just lots of petticoats, lots right? Lots of layers of petticoats. Yeah, that's it, right. Beautiful. And um, corsets. Yeah, Meet Me in St. Louis, by the way, now just came out to DVD with all kinds of fabulous extras and lots of information about Manelli and Judy, uh, because Manelli directed that, Vincent Manelli. That's right. All right, well, now let's look at another one. And here is a moment from one of the very best uh, recent films, well, semi-recent. Oh, oh, no, this is Breakfast at Tiffany. I got my order all wrong. But still, <laughs> this lives forever because it is a great film. Look at that hat. Yes, and, and this is a good lesson for all of us <gasps> not, to wear, not to get too close to people people smoking with cigarette holders at a party. Oh, I've got to remember <laughs> that. I've got to write that down Man, right now. That's just for you. <laughs> but tell me about the clothes in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Breakfast at Tiffany's has a lot of great period fashions, and they're very modern today, uh, very collectible. Lots of people are wearing, the, of course, the little black dress that Audrey Hepburn wears in this film was famous, and you can still get these beautiful dresses at very reasonable prices, and you won't even know necessarily that they're vintage because they've held up so well. They're are so modern looking and fresh today and designers are knocking the same things off. You know, some of those clothes look like things you see at the Oscars and at all the shows. Exactly. Uh, but there's, you know, Hepburn, was she, I mean, she was made to be a clothes horse. She's an icon. Yeah. Her fashion sense was impeccable. Mm. And and look at the way she carries it off. Oh, the she fabulous. Just, she's so beautiful. Yeah, and Givenchy, is he the one that Givenchy she... Givenchy did all of her costumes for her films. Yeah, even though Edith Head tried to take credit for one. Absolutely. For Sabrina. There's Absolutely. a big, big scandal about that in fashion and film circles. Exactly, and Edith Head did, the, did Kay Thompson's wardrobe in Funny Face, but Givenchy did... Audrey Hepburn's beautiful, beautiful gowns in that film. Let's look at a, uh, a wonderful film with Liza Minnelli this time. Yes. Not her father, Vincent, who directed Meet Me in St. Louis, but Liza Minnelli, and it's Cabaret. Here she is trying to decide different outfits. Talk about these fashions. Now, this is from the deco period, and the deco period is really hot right now with the big deco show here in San Francisco and, uh, and with Chicago that came out last year. And at the Oscars, everybody was wearing deco fashions. So. Deco is very, very popular right now, in, and it's just a beautiful, uh, luxurious, mm -hmm. luxurious 
uh, fabrics and beautiful streamlined gowns from the 30s. And very modern lines. Very clean modern lines, very simple but elegant. The construction makes everybody look good. Now you brought something I've been collecting since I was a kid, which is any magazine that has classic stars on the cover, whether it's photo play or life. This happens to be Rita Hayworth and Cover Girl. That's Talk right. What about Cover Girl? Cover Girl is a, a wonderful period film. She goes undercover to be a model. Here she is on the cover pretending to be a sweet, innocent girl sipping a soda right exactly and 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 she goes and th this is a wonderful musical with Gene Kelly mm -hmm. and it's uh, 1944 during the war years lots of great fashions in this film and it's just a, a really fun movie to see and we're playing this at our movie classics by the bay and let me tell you how you can get to that that movie classics show uh, it is cover girl it's such a wonderful show very rarely seen on the big stay on the big screen fashion and fantasy by the bay April 17th. The, uh, the phone number for information is 510-869-5428 or the website, Sandra, is www.auctionsbythebay.net. Yes, Auctions by the Bay, where they're bringing all of it to life again on the big screen. That's right. And here's some Walls winners. The movies, I think, are quite wonderful when it comes to fashion. Designing Woman, where Lauren Bacall and Gregory Peck, which she plays an actual fashion designer, unzipped about Isaac Mizrahi. Perfect. Yes, the women that has that fabulous fashion show. Fantastic. Next year, we're going to show the women at the uh, auctions by the Bay, right? Yes. How to Marry a Millionaire, which you mentioned. And the only movie that really is about Chanel is kind of a cheesy film called Chanel Solitaire, but actually, they need to make a really good film about Coco Chanel, don't you think? I agree with you 100%. Oh, she, right. She's influenced so many people in fashion in the designing industry, so Well, uh, thanks for exciting. being here. We could go on this subject forever, and someday we'll have you back to do that Thank with us you. again. Thank you, and the first First 500 people who see come to, to the Vintage Fashion Fair get free tickets to see Funny Face or Cover Girl this weekend. Okay, so it's at the Alameda Fashions, uh, Alameda, what? At the, Alameda uh, Point. That's right. You can call the information line, get all the information, or go to the website, and the first 500 people that come today for the one day only see get free Cover tickets Girl. to all see right. Cover Girl or Funny Face. Okay, thanks for being here, Sandra <laughs> Michonne. And back to a couple people who dress very nicely, Isabella Martin. Boy, such a deal, huh? Yeah. I was well. saying, she's not very excited about about what she does, is she? I love the earrings too, by the way. That's beautiful. Nice oh, touch. She looked very yes. Audrey. Yes. Thank you for coming. <laughs>